Fascinating new research to tell you about tonight about a planet that's long been a source of mystery and wonder. CTV's Garrett Berry on the new roadmap in the search for life on Mars. Scientists believe that Mars once looked pretty familiar with lakes, riverbeds, and possibly oceans. Mars once looked like Earth uh, three billion years ago, and now it doesn't. It was never quite clear where it all went. This new research, published Monday, gives a possible answer. Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. It means that it's potentially habitable um, in the mid-crust of Mars. And so there's just so much to learn when you know where the water went. Researchers use the tests taken by NASA's Mars InSight lander. They listened to the seismic measurements, the so-called Mars quakes, and concluded that some of it suggested the existence of water under the surface. And not just a little. They estimate there's an ocean's worth, enough to cover the whole surface of the planet. It might also mean there's life down there, just like there are bacteria in the groundwater here on Earth. If there has ever been life on Mars and the water that is underground is the same water that was on the surface, there is a chance that that life has moved underground. Just don't expect the next NASA trip to dig a big hole. Researchers estimate there's lots of water, but it's some 20 kilometers underground. On Earth, uh, you often have to circulate fluids, whether that be liquid water or mud, to make drilling a little bit easier. You also need the power capabilities and you need to bring those things on Mars. So even if we can't tap this water source today, there's still a lot of excitement. It might be useful in the future. And either way, it's still a bit of the Mars puzzle that we didn't see until now. We'll see what, what, what comes next, but I'm, I'm over the moon. Gary Perry, CTV News, St. John's.